Welcome back, everyone. If you haven't thought about it just yet, now is the time to start to think about getting the flu vaccine. We learn more about some of the facts and myths that come with getting the flu shot in our Health Talk with the Baptist. Hi, I'm Dr. Lee Richardson, a physician in the emergency room at Baptist Memorial Hospital, Golden Triangle. Tonight, I would like to talk to you about the flu vaccination. The single best way to prevent seasonal flu is to get vaccinated each year. Yearly flu vaccination should begin as soon as the vaccine is available. Most of the time, the flu peaks between December and February. It takes about two weeks after vaccination for antibodies to develop in the body that protect it against the flu infection. The CDC recommends getting your flu shot by the end of October. We're already seeing patients testing positive for the flu in the ER. Everyone six months of age or older should get the flu vaccine every year, especially those at high risk such as people with chronic pulmonary disease such as asthma, cardiovascular except hypertension, renal, hepatic, neurologic, hematologic, or metabolic disorders including diabetes, and people who are immunosuppressed including those with HIV. You should also not get a flu shot if you have a severe life-threatening allergy to any of the ingredients in the vaccine, especially eggs. The flu shot cannot give you the flu. The flu vaccine that is administered with a needle is made either of flu vaccine viruses that are inactive or not infectious or with no flu vaccine viruses at all. If you get flu-like symptoms, you may have other respiratory virus besides flu or you were exposed to the flu shortly before getting vaccinated or during the two-week period after vaccination. Join us next time for Health Talk with Baptist where we will discuss some common sense ways to keep from catching the flu. Mail your topic suggestions to Health Talk at WCBI.com. Health Talk has been brought to you by Baptist Memorial Hospital Golden Triangle.